here with Preston, who's marketing manager at Mitsubishi. Um, really excited about this new product. Yeah. So um, obviously, product launches go on every year, but this is a, a bit of a a bit of a, I think it was a different direction, but a, a completely new product to the line. Yeah. Uh, launch, do you launch? Uh, launch January 24th, and it's going to be a retail very, very soon. Mm. But yeah, really cool product, lightweight, super premium. We really feel at Mitsubishi we've done lightweight yeah, as yeah. good or better as anyone else. We yeah. got a long reputation, Bissara, Grand Bissara, so yeah, Vanquish yeah. is going to mm. step in right mm. into that. Yeah. And are there any material, new materials that have allowed you to develop the products for, yeah. for this specific? Line. Absolutely. So we're Mitsubishi Chemical. We, we make raw materials. Yeah. We just happen to make golf shafts with the materials yeah. we make, right? So we have an advantage with, with materials. And what you'll see in Vanquish, it's it's the six core technological tenets. So there's a yeah. whole bunch of a whole bunch of tech going on. And this yeah. is packed. It's packed to the gills. But the coolest thing you'll see is this amorphous wire technology in the handle. Think of like fly fishing rods. Right. So yeah. if you if you're cast, I'm not a fisherman, so I might get all the verbs and, and adjectives wrong. But if you're casting, it's very very firm and good, stable good down here. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they'll, they'll see right away. But if you're casting it's very very firm and stable down here yeah. and it's very very whippy up yeah. here right so mm -hmm. this uh, amorphous wire in the handle allows you to to create that acceleration of the tip and, yeah. and launch the ball further with more speed and is that partly about kind of ex looking to extend the stiffer part portion of the shelf over historical lighter weight products it, it's it's more just like it, it's a it's a technology we've used in the past but we've never used it in the handle section so right. it's it's more about the placement of it uh, relative mm. to where we've used it in the past what we've yeah. seen in in testing with with motion capture with with robot testing with player testing is on average a mile to two and a half more ball speed just okay. switching the shaft yeah. and it's been really really exciting and has that allowed you to, using a certain material there, develop what you've done in the tip? Is it kind of a design to be that lightweight and a low spin series or designed to get that flight up a little bit more? It's, it's not designed to be low spin. It's not like it's going to spin off the planet. But yeah. what you do, when we go here and then when we take mass out of the product, because it's a lightweight product, mm. you have to add strength elsewhere. What's yeah. good is we make material, so we mm. know how to add strength. So we added yeah. strength 40 and 46 ton material through this. But then what we did in the tip section was I can't explain exactly what we did because it's proprietary and, and, and secret, and you know I'd get in trouble if I did. Black thing yeah, here. exactly. To but, everyone wants yeah. it. <laughs> but we really, really stiffened up the tip section with some new kind of orientation, new plies, new angles, right. all that kind of stuff, and that's to create the stability that that you need when you're swinging it faster with a lighter product. And in terms of um, raw weights, the shaft goes from and to lightest to heaviest. The, there's a, a four and a five series. It's just 40 and 50 grams, but it yeah. goes from R2 all the way to TX Flex. So, I mean, we yeah. we've talked to people at 115 club head speed and. You know, talk to people at 80 club head speed and there's yeah. a vanquish part for them all. And is it the kind of product that you might see on tour? It's actually a really cool origin story. We developed it with uh, feedback and, and data from top LPGA Tour players. Right. So yeah. what we learned, well, what we've known for a while is that mm. obviously the LPGA Tour, it's, a, it's massively growing. It's very compelling, mm. really incredibly talented people. And it's a lot more... Um, relatable swing speeds to yeah. most consumers in the market we see you know major men's tours like they're swinging at speeds i'm never going to touch right this is like to create the product for consumers mm. that works for the most amount of people it's best to work in swing speeds that are relatable yeah. and when we see this working for you know the best uh some of the best golfers on the planet who are swinging 95 or 100 yeah. that's when you know it's special and can can bring it to market and it's going to fit a lot of people and I think the, the visuals on it are absolutely fantastic yeah, as well. Yeah, thank you. you, know, the, um, you know, the color orientations, the way as you move it, the, yeah. the, the color. Yeah, we've got a top side graphic changes. too. It's cool. It's a little bit unusual, but yeah, it, when, when the sun hits it, I mean, it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's beautiful. I know we'll, you don't we'll get, get a lot that of around sun around where you May. Yeah. No, no, I like <laughs> weather in Britain isn't that bad. Yeah. <laughs> You get a winter sun. Yeah. Um, so, and that's the, the new, the new, completely new line to um, the series this year. And anything else focus-wise for Mitsubishi this year? We've got a lot of brands, but I mean, we're we focus a lot on Tensei 1K. The 1K Pro line is just it's it's growing and growing more and more mm. momentum on tour. Yeah. And we've been really really focused on, on major men's tours, with, oh, yeah. all global tours, but definitely major men's tours. Yeah. Vanquish is an ideal for you know guys swinging 120. Yeah. So uh, on the women's tour, we're focusing very very hard on Vanquish, but men's side, Tensei 1K Pro, white and orange are taking off. We're a predictable company. When we make a white and orange, you can kind of yeah. guess where we're going next. So uh, you might see one floating around that's a yeah. different color. The yeah. launch is a little higher, and we're excited about that one, too. And um, so the Tensile line's always been about implementing new materials yeah. a little bit more, and that's, that's the differentiation between the Diamana series, yeah. Tensei, Diamana, the kind of more classic line, for yeah. a better phrase. Yeah, so Tensei, it, it's, it loosely translates to transformation in mm. Japanese, and we focus on transformation through material innovation. So 
as, I, as I've said multiple times in this interview, we make materials. We have access yeah. to really, really interesting new materials. Mm. Tensei is about incorporating materials to advance shaft performance. When you think of Diamana, the one word you should think is feel. Mm. Everything we do at Diamana is to yeah. create the smoothest, most pleasing feel that you yeah. can find. So when we use technology in Diamana, we use it to create great feel. When we use technology in Tensei, we use it to, to push the boundaries as much as yeah. we possibly can. That doesn't mean Tensei doesn't feel good, and it doesn't mm. mean Diamana yeah, yeah. doesn't have tech. Yeah. It just maybe one puts one before the other. So a little bit of insight into what you can expect from Mitsubishi this year. Uh, and you think the, that, that lighter weight, stable, you know, Almost sort of stronger players, lightweight option is. Yep. Uh, I think it's going to be exciting to get into the studio. Uh, we should be getting those very soon, and uh, look forward to working with them. Yep. So thank you yep. very much. Thanks, Simon. And uh, look yeah. forward to this year. Yeah.